Welcome to the tutorial on how to set up a simple staking plan in MarketFeeder Pro. If you haven't heard about MarketFeeder Pro and triggered betting yet, here is our website. In this video I'm going to program a basic loss recovery plan with the following steps. Lay a fixed size bet on the second favorite. If the bet lost, add the loss to the next bet. If the bet won, reset the bet to the initial size. I'm going to need just one parameter for this plan, the size of the initial bet. So I'm adding my first constant and calling it init bet, giving it a short description and a value. In my currency it is £4. Then I'll add another constant for the purposes of the triggers that will follow. This constant will act as a counter of the loss, that needs to be recouped. Now I'm creating a new trigger block and calling it simple staking plan for lay bets. There's no need to change the block's default settings. My first trigger will do the main task, it will lay on the second favorite. I'm choosing the right options for this trigger. It is all straightforward until it comes to the amount field. The bet's amount must consist of the initial bet and the current loss accumulated from the previous bets. So the formula is init bet plus current loss. I'll go into details on this later. Then I'll add another trigger that will actually update the current loss variable whenever there is a loss. So the trigger's action is set user variable. The value to which the variable will be set is defined with a formula. The market settled PL, is an inbuilt variable, that holds the profit or loss, generated in the current settled market. In other words, the trigger will add the loss, if there is any, to the current loss variable. You may ask, why is the minus sign in the formula, if it must add the loss and not deduct it? The answer is simple, the value of market settled PL is negative if there has been loss, and positive, if there has been profit. It is very important to set this trigger to work only in settled markets, as in all other markets the settled PL will be zero. I need to add one more trigger for resetting the bet after a win. I'm cloning this trigger as many of its properties are identical to my next trigger. The current loss variable will be set to zero, if the market's settled profit loss is positive, that is if the bet has won. Now all that is left is to save this file. Let's make a summary. The first trigger checks if there has been a loss in a settled market. If true, the loss counter is increased by the amount of the loss. The second trigger checks if the loss counter must be reset to zero, when there has been profit in a settled market. The third trigger makes a lay bet on the second favorite. The amount of the bet is calculated as the initial bet size plus the current loss. Here is an example of bets, placed according to this plan. Let me stress that this is a very basic plan which can be customized and perfected in various ways, but it will give you an idea of how staking plans can be programmed in MarketFeeder Pro.